Researchers trained artificial intelligence to translate cuneiform. Israeli scientists have used artificial intelligence AI, to translate cuneiform texts into English. The AI model developed by the researchers can help to read thousands of clay tablets written in a language that has not been used for about 2,000 years. Deciphering ancient writing is not an easy task. This requires a lot of knowledge, but most of all time. To speed up this process, researchers from Tel Aviv University and Ariel University have developed an artificial intelligence AI, model that can translate the hard-to-decipher cuneiform Akkadian language. The results and results of the work of Israeli researchers have been published in the journal, PNAS Nexus. One of the most difficult languages to translate is Akkadian, which is written in cuneiform. It was used mainly in Mesopotamia, a significant part of which is now in Iraq. One of the nations that used such a script was the Assyrians. The name of their state, Assyria, is associated primarily with the name of the god, Ashur, and it was located mainly in the Mesopotamian plain. In 721 BCE, Assyria put an end to the existence of the Kingdom of Israel, taking captives who were resettled in the Mesopotamian plain. In this area, archaeologists have found hundreds of thousands of cuneiform tablets. The oldest date back to 3400 BC. They are particularly important to us because they contain invaluable information about the political, economic, social and scientific history of Mesopotamia. Of course, reading them is possible. But usually it is an extremely arduous process. It requires the involvement of experts who know not only ancient languages, but also have a thorough knowledge of what life was like in those times. And since the group of such experts is small, most of the found tablets remain untranslated. What may make it possible to speed up the process of translating cuneiform tablets may be artificial intelligence. This is evidenced by recent trials by Israeli scientists using an AI that learns to translate Akkadian into English. However, it was decided to program it in two ways. One of its variants translates from words reflecting cuneiform, but written in the Latin alphabet, transliteration, while the other, based on an analogous translation but saved in the Unicode standard. This solution turned out to be quite effective, although the version based on Latin letters coped with this task slightly better. Obtaining a score of 37.47 in the best bilingual evaluation under study 4, Blue 4, score. BLEU4 is a compatibility test between human and AI translation of the same text. However, so far this system of translation of ancient Assyrian texts is not without flaws. He generally does best with sentences of 118 letters or less. However, there were situations in which, as the researchers themselves described it, the system began to hallucinate, creating phrases that were syntactically correct, but did not reflect the meaning of the sentence. It seems, therefore, that for now this solution can only be used as a first approach to the text, after which it will be necessary to make the necessary corrections by a human editor anyway. More than 60 new moons of Saturn have been identified. For a while, Jupiter was considered the planet with the most moons in the solar system. However, after the discovery of 62 new natural satellites of Saturn, the planet with the famous rings has taken the lead in this unusual cosmic race. Interestingly, some of the moons discovered orbit in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation. 
scientists have officially recognized the existence of 145 moons that orbit Saturn. Jupiter with 92 natural satellites was thus in second place in the ranking. In fact, however, it is not about any race. Researchers are very pleased because they have proven the effectiveness of the painstaking technique of detecting small moons orbiting giant planets. The search for small objects orbiting giant planets is a huge challenge for researchers. Jupiter and Saturn are the largest, besides the Sun, bodies nearby. Observations from Earth are therefore difficult, because both giants constantly reflect the light of our star and are very bright in the sky, thus preventing the detection of small objects. Astronomers admit that the very definition of moon is very broad. There are no requirements regarding the shape, mass, diameter or composition of the object. It must have a stable orbit around another, larger body that is not a star. Thus, planets, dwarf planets and even asteroids can have their own moons. However, for an object to be considered a natural satellite, it must be tracked for a longer period of time. Scientists need to be sure that the orbit of the celestial body is stable. The small moon search technique was initially developed to find similar objects orbiting Uranus and Neptune. It involves the analysis of a huge number of images whose sequences are shifted at the estimated rate at which the supposed moon moves. Thanks to this shift, the images overlap, which strengthens the signal and allows you to see objects invisible in individual photos. The technique of overlaying images from the past few years was used by a team led by astronomer Edward Ashton of the Academia Sinica Institute of Astronomy and Astrophysics in Taiwan. In this way, researchers managed to find Saturn's moons only 2.5 kilometers in diameter. Research began in 2019, and the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope CFHT, was used to take the photos. The photos were taken periodically until 2021, then the tedious process of verifying the obtained images began. Ashton likens the search for the moons to a drawing game for children where they connect dots on a piece of paper to create a shape. We need to combine various observations of these moons in our data and estimate the possible orbit, says the astronomer. The problem, however, is that space explorers have hundreds of possibilities and objects in one photograph. We don't know which dot belongs to which puzzle, Ashton explains. The discovered objects belong to three groups classified as Irregular, Inuit, Gaulish and Norse. These groups orbit the planet in large elliptical orbits inclined at an angle to the planet's regular moons. Some also orbit in the opposite direction of Saturn's rotation. Newly discovered objects give astronomers a glimpse into Saturn's past. They may provide evidence of recent collisions of larger moons that led to the formation of a swarm of smaller ones. According to the analyzers, the entire Nordic group may be a remnant of a larger natural satellite being torn apart about 100 million years ago.